What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the Epic Games Launcher error code IS-0009 on PC that you may be facing. So this is like if you're let's say trying to play Fortnite or Rocket League or whatever, a game's not launching and there's errors happening, or it could be the launcher itself, but I'm going to show you basically a couple of things that you can do to fix this. If you are in the launcher itself and it's the game not launching and it's a specific game, click into the three dots, click manage, and do verify files. This will take some time, but do verify file basically to see if this helps fix the issue. If this does not, you can actually uninstall the game from here and then reinstall it. Basically, just it'll just reinstall again, or by pressing the install button as you see for Fortnite, Valorant, etc., and then let it run via that method and then see if that fixes it. If it does not, the next thing you want to do is you want to right click at the bottom right, go into Task Manager, and close Epic Games Launcher. But by clicking into it and pressing end task, we want it completely closed out for the next steps that we're going to do. Then you want to type run and you want to open up percent design local app data and press OK. Once you're in here, you want to find where it says the Epic Games folder. So once you find it here, the launcher one, and you want to go in here, then you want to find save and you want to delete where it says logs and web cache 4430. You want to delete these two folders and restart your computer, turn on the Epic Games launcher again and see if this fixes your issue for you. This should and then if not, we're going to move on to the next step. The next thing, if this doesn't fix it, the last thing that you can do is find the Epic Games launcher click into right click into it go into properties and you want to essentially change a couple of things in compatibility first thing is run this program in compatibility mode into windows 8 start from there and go back for each one but before you do that you also want to do disable full screen optimization and run this program as an administrator basically press apply try it and then because running an administrator a lot of time bypasses certain things that windows could be making an issue on the back end which could cause this error to occur so basically doing this should help fix this issue and you should be good to go so yeah that's basically it if you guys are in the video please smash that like on the side guys are new channel make sure to subscribe click that notification bell and that we're going out peace